Hey guys, this is Tarun from Minus Gateway. Uh, hope you guys are staying safe and doing well uh, during these difficult times. So in this video, we're going to discuss about uh, mining uh, flux on our 4GB cards. So uh, stay tuned for those uh, for that video, uh, which is coming up shortly. Thank you. Hey guys, so we are back. Uh, so today in uh, in today's video, we'll look at uh, mining Flux and Ethereum together. So at this point of time, I'm using my uh, rig uh, ERG1 uh, that has got the 4GB cards of uh, three 16, uh, 1650s and uh, two 1050 Ti's. So and 13060. So on these uh, on these cards, on the 4GB cards, uh, I will be mining. Uh, flux and on the rtx 3060 i will continue to mine ethereum so uh, i have already created a flight sheet for flux and uh, i need to uh, let me show you what i have so this is uh, the flight sheet that i have so i am mining eighth on ether mine uh, using nb miner and uh, for flux i am using uh, you know, a Coinex uh, exchange wallet. Uh, uh, the pool that I'm mining to is uh, Hero Miners, and the miner that I'm using is G Miner. So I have added the uh, added the name. So this flight sheet is created. So let's uh, jump on and look at the ore clocks. Uh, so uh, as we discussed in our previous video, right? The easiest way to find the ore clocks for uh, a particular coin that you're trying to mine is uh, going under the popular presets uh, so you will find that uh, by clicking on the speedometer icon here so all you need to do is look at uh, select the coin ticker please uh, please remember this you need to select the coin ticker uh, so that you can get so uh, get the uh, respective values here for the uh, GTX 1650 we are seeing that uh, the core is set to 45 memories at 1000 and the power limit is at 67 so let's set up uh, set that up here let's uh, set the fan to 85 and uh, let's apply the overclock all right and then uh, let's do the same for uh, this as well so for the second card also we'll go for 45 1000 and 85 and the power limit is should be set to 67 so let's apply this here as well 85 1000 67 so let's apply this here and uh, we are ready to go with the 1650 let's move on to the 1050 ti let's see what uh, what is the popular presets that we have for the 1050 ti right so what is select flux out of here okay so the cardinality here looks uh, pretty uh, less right uh, here uh, you have one cardinality which is using core 99 and the power limit to be 66 and there's another cardinality where six people are using it where memory is at 480 and the power limit is at 55 so what i'll do is let me pick up the core uh, core values from here and the memory from uh, memory values from the second cardinality and let's uh, experiment a little bit to find out how things uh, work out and we will try to uh, keep the power between 66 and 55 and let's see how much uh, what is the number of souls that we get because uh, uh, as you're aware uh, uh, for flux uh, it is not mega hashes that we calculate uh, but it is uh, souls um, whereas uh, unlike uh, ethereum and ethereum classic uh, the hash rate is calculated in mega hashes actually so if you look i've already uh, set it up here for 99 450 fan let me increase that to 85 and the power to 60 let's see what happens and let's go to the other card as well and set up the same thing 99 core 85 sorry 450 memory clock let the fan be at 85 percent power limit to be 60 uh, guys uh, what i'll do is i'll i'll be testing this out and i will uh, uh, what do you call it uh, i will um, i will check uh, how the power limit is and the temperatures are and what is the souls that i'm getting based on that i will make some modifications and tweaks on uh, uh, these uh, uh, these values further to see what best suits uh, uh, suits my cards and uh, i will update the you know final results in the comment section below and pin it so that uh, if any of you are interested in uh, using these values or the values that i've uh, 
uh, identified or uh, identified you can uh, feel free to use the same uh, please do remember you can you can further fine tune this as per uh, how your card reacts and uh, how uh, uh, to uh, how your card reacts and uh, what is the best hash rate that you can get out of the card that is stable uh, over clocks actually so please do keep that in mind at this point of time so uh, we have we have set all the overclocks uh, everything is uh, looks good so i am going to set this uh, let me set this flight sheet up and uh, let's see what are the hash rates that you are getting so i have the shell open here let me type minor command so it is still kicking in so let's give it a minute and see where we start where we go okay so all right so nb miner is picked up uh, the lhr card it has started mining ethereum let me see okay so the g miner is also uh, you know by building the dag files and uh, you know it is uh, preparing so it looks like it is already accepted to shares so right we have uh, shares accepted and what is the souls that we are getting right in total we are getting about 64 souls and three accepted shares and the power consumption is at uh, 318 watts i understand that uh, you know uh, this is not the most accurate value but uh, you know for now we will uh, take this value as uh, as uh, a number and then see what are the profitabilities that we are getting so let's see we are getting about 64 souls okay so now let's pull up what to mine and uh, let me calculate five cards uh, just uh, the reason why i'm selecting 1050 ti is because uh, 1650 is not listed here so uh, that is the reason why i'm selecting 1050 ti or uh, we can also take another approach let's look at zell hash and uh, let's see the actual hash rate that you're getting we are getting about 63.5 souls uh, 63.5 5 souls at let's keep it at 400 watts to see what is the profitability right so at this we are making about $2 and 3 cents a day after power and uh, without power we are making about $3 and uh, 8 cents so let's see uh, i will uh, let this mine for uh, some more time and see what is the best uh, hash rate and uh, if uh, my cards run stable or if i run into any issues uh, you know i will update them in the comment section below uh, so uh, if you like my content and uh, if you feel uh, that uh, there is a scope for improvement in my content uh please uh, uh, you know uh, give me feedback on the comment sections and uh, please do remember to like and uh, share and subscribe uh, to my channel that will help me a lot uh, and it will encourage me to do more content and it will give me motivation to continue to improve on my content that i'm making so uh, please feel free to uh, you know uh, share your feedback on uh, in the comment section below until next time see you take care stay safe have a great day ahead or have a great rest